<laughs> so silly. You know, uh, if you're listening to this and you have um, not considered looking at yourself in the mirror uh, naked and then shaking your body around and looking at it, I kind of wonder why not? You know, if you don't look at yourself, and if you don't reshape yourself, and if you don't love yourself in a rebuilding, rebooting, regenerating, re reinvigorating yourself, who will? A doctor? Someone's going to give you a pill? Hmm. Most pills the doctor gives you are, unless they get you so whacked out that you go crazy, uh, basically are mostly placebo pills. In other words, they, they only work because you, you think they're going to work. And the doctors know this, by the way. Oh, God. You know, the average age for a doctor is only 56. And they're going to tell you how to live a long time. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'd rather listen to a doctor who's in the 70s or 80s uh, and have listen to his wisdom than some guy who's a, a pill hawker selling pills for the drug companies. Try some of this, try some of that, uh, you know, and all the TV commercials, you know. Ask your doctor about Zebatola. Uh, it's great for you, you'll love it, it helps all of these things. Except, then they've got a list as long as your arm of all the side effects. You know, blindness, hepatitis, heart attack, stroke, um, loss of limbs, loss of balance, I mean, on and on and on and on. But, ask your doctor if Ravavata is good for you. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You gotta love yourself. You gotta, you know, you gotta use both sides of your body. I've, I've moved down to the beach and I'm now at the beach and I'm back to surfing. And the thing about surfing is you use both sides. You know, you're not, a, you're not a right armed or a left armed paddler when you're going out through the surf. You gotta use both sides, all working together as a team to get out through the water. And literally that's the way we should all live our lives. Both sides, evenly, back and forth, even. Being balanced and loved. So, if you haven't thought about loving yourself, I highly recommend that you, that you start right now and um, introduce yourself to yourself. And maybe it's nice to see yourself in a mirror. Maybe it's nice to, to do a little mammalizing, which is a little shaking like every mammal does. I mean, there's so many ways to, to find out about yourself. Take some yoga classes. Although I think yoga classes, uh, the original yoga classes, mammalizing. So, and um, what I can say, without a doubt, you know, there's two sides to a coin. But the center of that coin, that's what makes the coin. And just like us, our center brain, the corpus callosum, and, it, and the cerebellum, that's actually our third brain. And there is a third eye that sits right here. So that's the truth. Now, scientists today say, well, you're right hand, left hand, left hemisphere, right hemisphere. They're almost, almost like there's a battle between the two, and really there isn't. They both work for the center guy. Both sides work for the center. Without being centered, this coin has got nothing. Without a middle, there's no coin. Ever think about that? Okay, love yourself. This is John Paul Elliott. Start using the other side of your body more. Loving it. Don't do it like in a vindictive way, but do it in a loving, brotherly, training manner. Hey, try this. Hey, try that. Let's try it a little different. Play, play um, with your own energy to love yourself, and you'll find that center, and it will come to you, and you will love it. So manifest. Manifest your own love within yourself. Find the center, and away you go. Thanks for listening. It's John Paul.